this time on Sailing Sweet Ruka. Customs and Border Control just you know, pulled us over while we were sailing. You know? Woo! I'm Kate. This is Curtis and Roxy the dog. This is our roaming home Sweet Ruka. One year ago, we quit our jobs, bought a boat, and plan on sailing around the world without going through the canal. You heard me right. Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. Click subscribe and come along for the ride. We finally made it to the BVI with plans of soon completing a transatlantic and eventually sailing around Cape Horn. However, this is where we were when the world turned upside down. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update what is going on with this whole pandemic that uh, we are experiencing. We have started to hear that a lot of different ports are closing and we think it's only going to continue to get worse. Um, we're not sure exactly how things are going to go with our visa. Do we need to sail back to the U.S.? Can we go to another country like we had planned? This may have a really, really major effect in our round the world sailing. Um, we may not be able to complete our, our trip, you know. Like I said, we're all going to hope for the best. We hope you guys hang in there right along with us. Be safe. Cheers from British Virgin Islands. We made our last stock up on groceries before leaving the marina, as we had heard a lockdown could become in place and did not want to get locked into the marina. We tried our best to stay positive while waiting in limbo and headed to a more secluded anchorage. It was a bit squally and cloudy, so we sailed jib only to conserve some fuel and headed towards an isolated area to wait out any future news. I was lost or I was found. Nothing ever in between. Self quarantining, and uh, now we're sailing to uh, conserve as much fuel as we can. Just find another little spot to hide out, really. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we're saying a month from now. Hopefully things will be better. All right. We found ourselves a sandy beach on the backside of private Peter Island. No towns, no stores, just a beach. Roxy and I could roam freely without concern, so we grabbed the paddleboard for a quick trip to shore. Beach day! Roxy's excited for beach day. Curtis is excited. We're gonna try out the drone. We chose Peter Island because the people who own it were from the same state as us, and we thought they might sympathize with us if things turned bad. That, and it was also a known safe harbor for major ships, etc. We have our own private beach today. Check it out. But for the most part, we're gonna hang out on this private beach and just chill. Drink some Coronas. Day four of coronavirus self-quarantine for the Sweet Ruka crew. We are hanging out on Peter Island in a little hut, watching it rain outside, drinking a Corona. I think we picked the right place to Win hang row. out for the pandemic. Check out the beautiful view. Oh, oh, one more thing. I got the drone working today, hand launched it, flew it to its max distance, to its maximum height, and then I hand caught it with one hand. Next step is gonna be flying this puppy from the boat now that I know that I can bring him back in. So, stay tuned for that.
So here we are in Peter Island and we are in the midst of the coronavirus. And uh, Curtis started a fire, just like our ancestors did with a lighter and some brush. <laughs> and, yeah, without uh, that lighter part. <laughs> and we're baking a potato. It's a bit windy, but we are enjoying ourselves. So enjoy the fire. And it is day number five of our coronavirus self quarantine. Basically, we want to make sure that we do not have it. We learned that the BVI is going to lock down their borders. We're coming to the realization that our circumnavigation world tour is maybe not going to happen or we need to drastically change our plans. We'll kind of see what happens, but uh, for right now, the British Virgin Islands is absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're doing. And right now we're not in a rush to do anything, but we're keeping our fingers crossed and our hopes up. Enjoy the British Virgin Island view. We could feel the freedom dwindling down. So we pulled anchor to see the famous baths of the BVIs. We conserved fuel by hoisting the sails and took a beautiful sail towards the southwest end of Virgin Gorda. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something. It's my birthday! Happy birthday, Kate! <laughs> Got to chat with my friends this morning. It was five way call. Thank been an awesome birthday so far. Sailing on my birthday, can't really complain. Just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party. Dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Want to see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with the heart on fire? Curtis dove on the anchor and noticed that it was a super sketchy set. Not our best. But we planned to stay for only one night before taking off towards Anagata, where it would be a little more quiet for us to sit out and quarantine. Forget all your sorrows, let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes. Roxy, I lost Roxy. Yeah, Roxy, come. coconut husker when you got a coconut retriever. And there you have it folks, a husk coconut. Let's see if it's any good. It's day six of coronavirus. I guess let me clarify, it's day six of hanging out on the boat to attempt to not get coronavirus. So we are self-isolating. Some new things have come to light today. The United States has issued a travel advisory. Basically states that we should not travel to any foreign country or and that we should return back to the United States immediately crazy. The other things that have come about is the United States supposedly has a disaster plan or projections in place that say that this may take a full 18 months to clear up. Visiting other countries 
and learning about other cultures is going to be uh, pretty hard because really I think what's going to happen is whenever you pull up to a new island, you're going to be treated as a disease-stricken outsider and uh, no one's going to want you there. Our options are the USVI or going back to the United States East Coast. We can do those safely and, and easily with the provisions on hand and so that's about it. The next day we decided to sail to Anagata and check it out. After all, we had never seen it before and we were curious to check out the northern island of the BVI. Hello, hello! We are headed to go check out the Kraken wreck that was sunk here off Virgin Gorda by Sir Richard Branson, entrepreneur extraordinaire. So it's right up here, it's tucked in up ahead of us. So we're gonna head up here and we are going to tow one of us over the top of the wreck because we're trying to get around this point and get to another place on the island. So we are gonna do some tow snorkeling, see what we can see. So we'll see how this goes. That's too big. Took a foot. A little less now. Kate and Kurt hit the gym. As soon as we got the sail up, I turned to find a powerboat coming full speed at us. Uh, Curtis, is that Customs? Sure enough, Customs and Immigration had made a beeline for us as soon as they saw us hoist the sails. We set down the camera we were using to film the sailing and happened to catch some of the interaction. The next bit of discussion was inaudible, but we were basically told we needed to check out early as customs offices would be closed during the lockdown. The only way to check out would be through the customs office. We asked if we were able to check out at Soper's Hole, as that is the normal place to do business for recreational vessels. But with the urgency of the situation and Soper's Hole being a good distance away, we were told to head to Spanish Town immediately. Hey guys, Customs and Border Control just you know, pulled us over while we that? were sailing. You know? uh, the curfew you know? goes in effect tonight so, that they're shutting down everything for 24 hours. No one's allowed to leave their so houses like, kind of thing, um, so except for essential personnel. They the seem to make the decision right on the spot as to what us sailors were supposed to do. And since Customs offices will be closed until April 2nd, and yep. we're supposed to leave April 2nd, he said, you should check out today and just leave. You know, we're going to try right, to man. follow the rules as best we can. We uh, threw the spinnaker up. ASAPs to head back towards customs on land and so we're trying to make good speed and conserve fuel still. Um, fortunately we have uh, good weather so that's that. So Kate we just checked out of the BVI but we don't have to leave until April 1st. You don't have to leave but you can't stay here. <laughs> so behind us is Spanish Town Virgin Gorda where the customs office is and technically we weren't allowed to check out there that's only for commercial vessels but because we couldn't make it to so we're told before they close for the next six days no actually the customs guys were really nice right yeah they were nice but i don't think anyone here fully knows what to do with us 
boaters that were here before the virus hit. Our visas expire during a lockdown and it's a very weird gray area. Now we're going to anchor here until it's time to leave. We were very appreciative that customs allowed us to stay through the end of our visas, even though we were not to step foot on shore. What would you do with your time isolated on your boat? Keep watching to see what happens next. President Trump, meanwhile, is waiving the possibility of new guidelines for dealing with the coronavirus. Insisting that Americans want to go back to work, the president suggests he will open some areas of the United States. Mr. Trump spoke by phone last night with Chinese President Xi Jinping and said later the two would coordinate anti-COVID-19 efforts. The curfew across the entire territory will be from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. And then on Friday, we are looking at the curfew now to start from 8 p.m. But on this time, the curfew will remain in effect for six days and go up until the 2nd of April 2020 in the first instance with the exception of essential workers. To stay up to date on the pandemic and more, we invite you online to voanews.com. Hey everybody, we are here at the wreck of the Rhone. This is supposed to be one of the most spectacular dives in the BVI and we have it all to ourselves. We figure we can't go to shore, so we might as well go snorkeling. Join us underwater. Let's check it out. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the ocean. Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Hey, darling, I love it when it's me and you. On the road with a couple of tunes in a carpet too. The Indians are a group of islets that form an archipelago and are such named because it was thought that their appearance was that of a Native American headdress. It's the second most popular dive site following that of the RMS Rhone that we had just snorkeled. When the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note. Where are we going? The Indians! Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open oh. air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life on one. I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned next time as we wrap up our final allowed days in the BBI and sail to our next COVID sanctuary. Stay tuned for next time when we find out more about how COVID-19 affects our circumnavigation.